a rectangular tank 60 cm long, 60 cm wide and 40 cm high was 75% filled with water. Water began to leak from a crack at the base of the tank at 500 cm cube per minute. At the same time, water was also added into the tank from a tap at 3.5 liters per minute. How long did it take to fill the tank completely? So we know that the tank is 60 cm long, 60 cm wide and 40 cm high and it is 75% filled with water. So first thing we'll do is to find the volume of tank which will be 60 times 60 times 40. We will get 144,000 cm cube. So the volume of the tank is 144,000 cm3 but it is not fully filled it is only 75% filled so we need to find the volume of water which would be 75% is 75 over 100 times 144,000 and we will get 108 thousand cm cube of water that is in the tank. Now the next sentence says that water began to leak from a crack at the base of the tank at 500 cm cube per minute but at the same time the wa water was also added into the tank from a tap at 3.5 liters per minute. The final question asks how long would it take to fill the tank. So currently the amount of water inside is 108,000. We need to know the empty space. What is the volume of the empty space? So volume of empty space to be filled up is actually the volume of the tank which is 144,000 minus the volume of water that's already inside. And we will get 36,000 cm cube of water. So we know that we need to fill up another 36,000 cm cube of water in order for it to be completely filled. But there are some points that we need to take note that is every one minute 500 cm cube of water will be leaking out of the tank. But we compensate this leak by adding in more water at 3.5 liters per minute. The only problem, the other problem that we have is that this is in cm cube, this is in liters. So we need to change the liters into cm cube. 1 liter is equal to 1000 ml which is also equal to 1000 cm cube. So 3.5 liters will be equal to 3.5 times a thousand and we will get 3,500 cm cube. That is to say that every one minute 3,500 cm cube of water is poured in but 500 cm cube is being released. So we have 3,500 going in yet there will be 500 cm cube coming up. So the net inflow would be for in one minute there will be a net inflow of 3500 minus 500. So although 500 cm cube has leaked out, I actually put in 3500. So in the end, I still have 3000 cm cube of water flowing in in one minute. Since the question asks, how long would it take to fill the tank completely? So the volume of the empty space is 36,000 and every one minute I can still fill up 3000 cm cube of water to find the time taken it will just be 36,000 which is the volume of the empty space divided by 3,000 which is the amount of water that is filling in in one minute and I will get 12 minutes.